But we begin tonight, your local election headquarters telling you about an increase in political ads on your TV in recent weeks. You've probably noticed it. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. One incumbent candidate in particular, Governor Gina Raimondo, is spending a lot of money early. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin broke down the numbers for you. She joins us from the State House tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, I want to take you back to the 1976 U.S. Senate race here in Rhode Island. It was John Chafee versus Richard Lorber. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming tells me that Lorber spent a ton of money on that campaign, mainly because people didn't know him. He went on to win the Democratic primary, but then he lost in the general election. In this case, years later, Governor Raimondo is spending a sizable amount of money on her campaign, but people already know her. Fleming says he believes she's doing this in order to bolster the image she already has. Our job's not done. She went on the air early and you've seen her often. Democratic Governor Gina Raimondo is fighting to remain Rhode Island's leader and she's putting a lot of money behind it. This is part of her strategy, at least in my mind. An eyewitness news analysis of filings by the FCC shows Governor Raimondo has spent more than $1 million airing TV ads since going on the air two months ago. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says for Rhode Island, that's a lot of money this early on. So she can get a very positive message out about herself during these two months before the other candidates start going on the air. To compare, a spokeswoman for Democratic primary rival Matt Brown says his campaign doesn't have any TV ads in the works right now, that they'll be focusing on, quote, grassroots organizing to win the primary. And then there's leading Republican challenger Alan Fung. He spent more than $80,000 on a TV buy after he kicked off his campaign last fall, but he hasn't run anything since. I believe what they have, they're saving it towards just before the primary, both on the Democrat and Republican side. They want to get their uh, money used basically when they feel the voters are more tuned into what's going on. Fleming says Raimondo went into this campaign needing to shore up her image. Look at the last poll we did for WPRI TV and Roger Williams University. Those numbers showed her job rating in the 30s. But that poll also showed 50% of voters had a favorable view of the governor. Fleming says sometimes that view can be worth more than money. I've seen races in Rhode Island where people had a lot less money and they still won the races. A spokesperson for the Raimondo campaign declined to comment. Now, the question that really stands is how exactly will the other candidates compete with the money that the governor is putting into her campaign? Fleming tells me he believes after the primary that we're going to see a ton of outside money come into the state for both the Republicans and the Democrats. Now, it is interesting to note that campaign reports are due tonight at midnight, so we should soon know how much money the candidates have raised thus far. Reporting in Providence tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.